What's up everyone? Welcome to a new and exciting Art of War video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite combo from the brand new Tyranid Index. Yes, it's finally here. Games Workshop has just released the new Index Tyranids for 10th edition and I finally have the new rules in my rending claws. So, as we're getting ready to digest these new rules, I'm excited to talk about the combos that stood out to me on my first read. So, let's get right into it. First up, uh, I want to talk about kind of taking your synapse to go. So Synapse has changed a little bit in 10th edition. Uh, it now just makes you a little bit better at taking a Battleshock test, but your rules will combo a little bit on whether or not you're in, in Synapse range. What I specifically am talking about here is your stratagems. A lot of your stratagems will say, do X thing, but if you're in Synapse, do Y instead. Or pick a unit to do X thing, or pick two units in Synapse range to do that thing. And so Synapse is gonna make your stratagem use more effective. Now, how does this all come together? So the Neurotyrant Synaptic Relays in your command phase lets you pick two friendly units within 12 inches to count as being in synapse range until your next command phase. Now your next command phase is the next time you're going to have to take a Battleshock test. So this rule is a little bit easy to dismiss on first read, but the Neurotyrant I think has a lot of value and will have a lot of synergy with making your stratagems more effective. That's because those Synaptic Relays where you pick two units to be in range of your uh, in synapse so your next command phase are going to help make your stratagems a lot more efficient. And that's a combo I really like. So uh, this is really good in my mind if you take a Neurotyrant to just pick two units. And then you take multiple fast-moving melee units. Uh, with the way that the rules are written in 10th edition, if you move a unit up and then declare a charge at the enemy, and if you roll a long charge, you may end up being forced to get into base contact with multiple enemies. And all of a sudden, you're really getting stuck in just to get in combat. You might accidentally get stuck in a little too far and get out of range of some of your Synapse creatures. So this is a good way to take Synapse down range with you. And some stratagems to keep in mind is uh, Adrenal Surge and Synaptic Insight. Both are gonna let you pick two units that are in Synapse range or one that isn't. Uh, so I think that this is gonna be really useful, um, especially because um, you know that Neurotrench is gonna let you take it downfield. And it also lets you pick two units, which is exactly what this stratagem is gonna wanna have. So. How are we gonna use this combo? In your movement phase of the preceding turn or in deployment, you're gonna to wanna to stage your Neurotyrant to be in range of multiple units that you can choose who you're gonna distribute buffs to. 12 inches is pretty generous, so you're gonna have a lot of options hopefully, and you just wanna use them on the units that are about to go commit. You also are gonna to wanna to save up your command points. A lot of these uh, stratagems are kind of CP intensive. They're, they're good, but you don't have as many command points in 10th edition as you maybe were used to in 9th. So you wanna make sure you're preserving your CP and using them at a critical moment. Um, so if you save your command points, you can use them on multiple stratagems at once that are gonna affect multiple units at once. This is really good. Uh, some of the stratagems that I just mentioned, such as Adrenal Surge, lets you score critical hits on a five plus instead of a six plus. Now all of the bio adaptations that you can get in the uh, the High Fleet detachment for being Tyranids, that's the only detachment Tyranids have access to right now, all of those key off of critical hits. So if you get critical hits on a five plus instead of a six plus, you're essentially doubling the value of your detachment roll. And with the uh, synaptic inside stratagem, you can get two units in synapse range to gain another rule from that, that choice that you had pre-game for your detachment, effectively making you even more deadly. So by stacking this all together, you can get more rules and you can get them to pop twice as often, all by having a neurotyrant managing your resources. When you're doing this, you do want to watch out, of course. Uh, if you're committing multiple units to melee, watch out for an opponent that could hit you back. Uh, heroic Interventions, Overwatch, Fight First, and the Counteroffensive Stratagem. There's a lot of uh, reasons to be wary about committing multiple units at once, but if you can do so safely, you can get them all swinging very effectively. As well, um, again, these combos can be relatively CP intensive. Make sure you save them for the right moment and make sure that you don't use them and find yourself lacking in CP for other ventures. There's a lot to be done here, uh, but I think there's going to be a lot of reward for spending your CP well. All right, so I think Tyranids are in a pretty good place after seeing their index. Now, I am excited to get the full picture of other armies and the points that are coming out soon, so uh, we'll have more thoughts coming up then. Uh, I think that Tyranids look like they're going to be a little bit slower across the board uh, than before. There's less uh, options to advance and charge, less really high move units, but I think Tyranids are still going to function very well as an army with uh overlapping auras that is moving up the board cohesively, kind of like a swarm of nids. I think this is going to still be a very lore accurate way to play tier nids. Um, and I think there's going to be a little bit less trading melee missiles out that go come back and like cycle every turn. 
Uh, instead, I think it's going to be an inexorable mass of tyranids that you just can't stop in time that's trying to come consume you. So if you want to get even more of this, con this content, I put my top three favorite tyranid combos from the indexes in the war room. Make sure you check the link in the description below to go to our website, thewarroom.vhx.tv, where you can get a free trial to check out all of uh, our war room content. We have a ton of 10th edition content already up. There's going to be a lot more as these indexes keep coming out. And later this month, we're going to do a full state of the faction for every faction in the game, including my beloved Tyranids. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comment section below how excited you are for the new Tyranid index and for 10th edition as a whole. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.